Well, here we go! Red Dead Redemption has officially been confirmed for PlayStation 4, and it will be coming very soon, in just 10 days? Yes, it will be hitting the PlayStation Store in 10 days for $49.99. A physical edition will be due out in October, so if you want to get a physical copy of it, you'll have to wait a little bit longer. Interesting that they aren't doing an Xbox Series or Xbox One version, no PlayStation 5 version either. I am very curious on what they're doing for this upgrade or, you know, this re-release because it's on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, so they're getting it on the Switch. You know, I am curious if this is gonna be a substantial upgrade just because they're not even noting the PlayStation 5. Like, I figured they would release, like, a PlayStation 5 version, and that would be, you know, 4K, 60 frames per second, whatever they wanted to do there. The overview from Rockstar Games notes, Experience the epic Western adventure Red Dead Redemption and its groundbreaking zombie horror companion Undead Nightmares. So, yes, you do get both the base game and Undead Nightmare as both games come to the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 for the very first time in a single package in a new conversion version by Double Eleven Studios, the Switch and PlayStation 4 versions bring the two classic experiences together again for both new players and original fans to enjoy across modern consoles, including backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 5. The fact that they're just noting backwards compatibility and they're not really driving home the upgrades or the updates for this version, that had me a little bit concerned to say the least. One of the most critically acclaimed games of all time with over 170 Game of the Year awards, Red Dead Redemption tells the story of former outlaw John Marston as he journeys across the sprawling expanses of the American West and Mexico to track down the last remaining members of the notorious Vanderlyn gang in a bid to save his family, relive, or experience the first time the events immediately fall Follow the epic tale of honor and loyalty in the 2018 blockbuster Red Dead Redemption 2. Remember, RDR 2 is a prequel to RDR 1, and for the most part, it does work out pretty well. Like, I'm sure when RDR 1 came out in 2010, they didn't have the foresight that eight years later they were gonna drop a prequel in RDR 2. Maybe they did, but um, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 has Marston hunts down his former friends and outlaws Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela, and his former gang leader Dutch Vanderlyn. If you played uh, RDR 2, a lot of those characters are going to be very reminiscent for you as the era of the cowboy comes to its end. Red Dead Redemption on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 also includes Undead Nightmare, the hollowed story expansion that reimagines the world of Red Dead Redemption as Marston figures, out, figures to survive a relentless zombie horde and searches for a cure and a spooky supernatural twist on the western genre. In addition to both classic single player experiences newly supported languages include for the first time simplified and traditional Chinese, Korean, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, and Latin American Spanish. Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare will be $49.99 on the Switch eShop and PlayStation Store. Okay, so they also note again physical release October 13th. I am incredibly skeptical right off the rip, um, just because we're not getting a lot of details on what this is going to contain, whether or not it's just a straight port, because let's be real, a lot of you guys, myself included, well, I wasn't that disappointed by the GTA trilogy just because I kind of saw it coming a mile away, and I'm kind of seeing it coming a mile away here, that this port might be disappointing for a lot of people. The fact that they're not... Uh, you know, doing a PlayStation 5 native version that has, you know, some bells and whistles attached to it because you could have promoted a PS5 version and that would have done fairly well. Maybe it'll see some upgrades and things like that. The fact that they're not noting frame rate, resolution, all of these things are not noted in this press release. So that get me, uh, that has me pretty skeptical already. And the fact that it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch and we don't have, you know, specifications on that. Um, and again, the turnaround is so quick that I feel like if you were doing a top tier remaster and refinement of this game you want to promote it a little bit you want to at least have a couple of months of a promotional cycle i get that red dead redemption you know rockstar knows how to promote their game so you know be it me to tell rockstar how to do their job in promoting one of the greatest games of all time but i would just think that if this was gonna be one of those major releases and you could have had it be one of those major releases in the fall and i get the physical version is in the fall but um it is just a little bit concerning to me on that front, um, and again, just because we're not getting specifications on a game that is literally uh, 10 days away. So 10 days, and you'll be able to play this game, so I feel like, you know, you should be getting a lot of information as far as that's concerned, but, uh, you know, I'm still cautiously optimistic, and the fact that this game is going to be uh, playable on the PlayStation 4, that's nice, but if it's a straight-up port and that's what it's looking like, not a remaster, not an upgrade... 
$50 at that point is pretty egregious. Like, people are still gonna buy it. Like, yo, I always complain about these price points. I just had my diatribe about the, the these pieces of plastic that PlayStation and Sony are selling for $65 or whatever it is, and they sold out right away. Red Dead Redemption is probably gonna do very, very well. It's gonna do healthy numbers, but the fact is, you do have this game backwards compatible on 360, and you can get that at a pretty decent price. Like, if you buy a physical copy of RDR, I'm sure you can, um, you know, get it fairly cheap. So $50 for RDR 1 and Undead Nightmare. It would have been one thing if it was, like, a legitimate upgrade and, uh... And, uh, you know, something like that, but the fact that it is looking like it's a port of a 13-year-old game, and it's $49.99, it really just seems like, from a Rockstar standpoint, this is a bridge the gap kind of game, like, we'll throw this out there, very little work, very little investment on Onpar, and guess what? RDR1 is still one of the greatest games of all time to a lot of people, and it's still probably gonna do fairly well. I mean, if it is... Uh, all they really have to do is up the resolution and offer 60 frames per second and I think people will at least be somewhat satisfied But the fact they're not even saying that hey, it's gonna run at 1080p 60 FPS And the fact that it's only on PS4 and they're not promoting a legit PS5 version All of that has me incredibly skeptical on how this is gonna turn out And even as somebody that's an absolute homer for Red Dead Redemption And I have always preferred Red Dead over GTA The Western setting is just one of my favorite settings that they can do um fifty dollars for this is just a little bit egregious again it depends on how the port is going to turn out but the fact that it's only a little over a week away and they're not giving you any specifications on what this is really going to be i am always going to be pessimistic when we don't get clarity on stuff like this and uh you know, it's gonna be something that I think could potentially upset a lot of people. Like, we saw the disaster that was GTA Trilogy, but guess what? GTA Trilogy still probably sold an absurd amount, and, um, you know, there's a reason why. Like, if this was a legit upgrade and it was bundled in with Undead Nightmare, I feel like you could have done an Xbox release as well, and that would have done fairly well. I get that the uh, Xbox backwards compatibility version is upgraded to an extent, but you know, if you just did a simple upgrade I, and bundled it in together, you could literally re-release it on Xbox and generate a ton of revenue that way as well. And the fact that they're not doing that makes me believe that this is just a very, very straight-up port, and they're just gonna be like, yo, you wanna buy 50 bucks? It's now available on platforms that you can play on, and it doesn't have a PC release! And I was expecting that this could be a possibility that they wouldn't do a PC release. I mean, it's Rockstar at the end of the day. They do sometimes delay their PC offerings uh, from their console counterpart, and Red Dead 1 is something that I could I, I could see do incredibly well on PC, but um, unfortunately, it won't be available right out the gate. I imagine that it will see a delay later staggered release on PC, but we'll ultimately see how that turns out. But that'll do it for me. Again, exciting news on one hand, $50 for a straight-up port is kind of questionable to say the least, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Coming August 7th, physical edition due out October 13th. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.